Hey everyone, I'm Asha from GirlTalkHQ.com. I've teamed up with UrbanAsian.com. We are here at the Showbiz India 16th anniversary Sweet 16 celebration. It's a night celebrating female empowerment and influential leaders. We're talking to celebrities from Bollywood, Hollywood and everything in between. So I'm about to get my Bollywood on. I'm here with Reshma, who is the beautiful creator and founder of Showbiz India TV. What is the thing you are looking forward to most at this event? The reason we chose female empowerment and influential leaders is because me as a woman has been very disturbed in the past few years for all the atrocities that have been happening with women. While I think we celebrate the beauty of a woman, we should also protect every woman. And we've seen the new Indian Prime Minister, we've seen both male and female Bollywood celebrities talking about how important it is to protect women like you said. What can average people do? The fundamental problem is raising awareness, so educating the children in India to and let them know that men and women are equal. They're not supposed to be subservient. I'm here with Mira and Ravi. How did you come up with the idea for Miss India America? Mira uh, had a solo show called Miss India America, which was a different story. It was more based on Mira's life. But we took the, um, we took the title and we took one of the worlds that her solo show was set in, which is the Indian South Asian beauty pageant world in America. Because Mira may want to reveal, I don't know, maybe she doesn't. Okay. Reshma and I did beauty pageants together. <laughs> what? <laughs> Maybe you want to cut that out. Check with Reshma. She, um, um, she's saying she wants it in. Okay, cool. Wants it in. Okay. Um, okay. So yes. And if I hadn't have done them, we couldn't have uh, come up with the idea. So that's that's how it uh, evolved. Ravi and I began working together and creating a fictional story about uh, a very smart South Asian girl who was raised in Orange County and she's the valedictorian of her class and she has to win at everything but her boyfriend dumps her for a beauty queen and so she goes on the journey of becoming a beauty queen to get him back. Well I just want to say I'm honoured being in the presence of you and Reshma, two empowered women, boss ladies. There's a lot of stigma around beauty pageants and the women that enter it. What message do you have, you know, having been in that world and now making this film, what message do you have to people out there who kind of have that stereotype? You can't base your self-worth on a beauty pageant, you know, but I think that what they do offer for some girls who I've talked to, they offer a sense of confidence, a moment on stage, but really your self-worth cannot be based on how pretty you look in a sari or how nice your smile is or, you know, and it can't be based on what seven people think of you in one moment. You know, your life is so much fuller and so much more expansive. It's kind of fitting that you are here tonight because we're celebrating the new movie Miss India America, which is all about beauty pageants. What is it like actually being in a beauty pageant? I want to know. It's so crazy. I was with uh, Donald Trump and Miss Universe and Miss, U Miss USA. So I competed on Miss USA stage on NBC and it was the most humbling experience I could have ever imagined to even, you know, step upon, but I was the only Indian American. You know, there's a lot of negative stigma around it that it just focuses on a woman's physical appearance, but I do know there are some empowering aspects of it. So tell me some of the things that you learned. Well, you know, basically beauty pageants, you're competing against girls for a title and you kind of have to remember why you're doing it. It's, you know, yes, it's about your looks and, you know, how you walk and how you present yourself, but it's a lot about what you do for your community, how you can give back, how you connect with people. If you don't have a connection with people, how are you going to represent the United States? How are you going to be Miss USA? Remember what you stand for and, and to empower other women because that's what the beauty pageant is about, to empower women. I'm here with the beautiful Tia Sirkar. You know this face. From the internship, she played the most badass character. You're my favorite character in the movie by far. Oh, thank you so much. That's so nice of you to say. Well, I love that you were playing like a strong, empowered woman, showing the other guys that, you know, women in tech are really making inroads. I felt very privileged to get to play a role like that. You know, people would ask like, oh, how does it feel being the only girl in the group? And I was like, fine, it feels great. I love playing a girl that's like smart and and uh, sassy and sassy and knows what she wants. I never felt intimidated because I don't think she ever felt intimidated in that situation, yeah. How is it giving attitude to Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson on screen? I will say it is in intimidating doing improvisational comedy with two of like the best improvisational comedians I've ever seen. So that I think never got to be less scary, but it was, they were both very encouraging of all of us, you know, all of us kids, um, you know, the, the, the Google interns. How important is it that Hollywood puts out these representations of female that are strong, complex, 
capable beings, not just the wife or the girlfriend or the bimbo. So important because, you know, there are so many female celebrities that now, you know, what are they really famous for and, and are they setting a good example and is it cool to be smart and sometimes you know there are so many examples where it's not necessarily so I love to get to play a char these characters who for example Neha in the internship I think she's cool like super cool I want to be her friend she's funny and cool and wears these crazy kooky outfits and she's smart and why not and I, I just I, I, I hope that there are more and more examples of like intelligent uh, confident girls who are not trying to, you know, impress a boy or wear this particular type of outfit or listen to this music. It's like, I want there to be substance and it's okay to be smart and being smart can still be sexy and beautiful and cool, yeah. I love that, I really love that. So you heard it from Tia Sirkar herself. Look out for Miss India America. Thank you so much for chatting with us. Thank you so much. Jahan from Cruella, great to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Tell me what it's like being a female in the music industry celebrating this event. I think we've made a lot of progress in the past decades for um, women's empowerment and women's rights, but I don't think our work is done. So we might have laws that are protecting women, but there's still discrimination out there and assumptions about women's character. So I just want to be here to encourage women to pursue their dreams no matter what sort of negativity they see. We see so many pop stars using their bodies to communicate a message, female pop stars. What would you say to encourage women to, I guess, put something out there that's positive and encouraging and different? That's the battle that we have as women is you know, you know that you're being judged by being scantily clad or revealing yourself, but you also want to feel sexy, and I think it's important not to let others control your sexuality. But at the same time, if you're going to do that, and if you're going to be exposing yourself, I think there has to be something else to you, some sort of substance. So I think I, I want all women to remember that and keep that in mind, to remember that they can be sexy and they can feel sexy, but at the same time have a positive message. Thank you, Showbiz India TV, for giving me another Sweet 16. Thank you, Reshma. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tia Sirkar, and you're watching Urban Asian and Girl Talk HQ. You're watching Girl Talk HQ and Urban Asian. Hi, my name is Emily Shaw, and you're watching Urban Asian and Girl Talk HQ.